Apronius, good to have you on the show today. First off, let, let's just get your view on the, the latest development in the oil and gas sector. Just looking at some commentary from the energy minister saying that some of these contracts were shoddy, saying that they're not uh, serving the country. But it seems that, uh, you know, you could view this as, as a positive development because they are taking a look at current re regulation, current policy, and taking a look at whether it does support uh, this burgeoning sector. What's your view on it all? Yeah, great to hear about uh, the new cabinet coming up with the new strategies of reviewing the mining contracts. As we know before, uh, in the past, we had a number of concerns from the Tanzanians and from other stakeholders, including some uh, donors that uh, the country is rich in terms of natural resources. As you know, at the moment, they have been a lot of discovery in the southern part of Tanzania. Uh, a lot of discoveries of uh, oil and gas um, and uh, a lot of natural resources in terms of gold there, which is uh, plenty in this country, um, and the other natural resources. But the concern is that the country is not benefiting at the moment. So uh, you see the, the, the incumbent president, when he came in power, he promised that uh, he's going to review all the mining contracts so that the country, the country benefits. Yeah. So that the, the, the real win situation is there. But uh, he could, there are a number of challenges that once you have entered the, uh, into contract with investors, it's not easy changing the contract. Yeah. As you know, the investors, they a bit smarter. A bit, you can't change the contract. In most cases, it's going to cost the country. So that has been a difficult part in changing the, uh, the mining contract so that the country uh, benefits. Yep. So the new uh, minister has come up with a new strategy. He has instructed the, 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 the Natural Resources uh, Committee to review the mining contract. But as we know, this is uh, an interesting uh, move, but uh, one of the challenges is that uh, those contracts, they are long-term contracts, let's say uh, 20, uh, 30 years, for those companies to, uh, to extract the minerals in this country. So the major challenge here is the contract itself. Yes, but in terms of the, you know, how well it's being communicated to the investment community, what are your views on that? Because it's it's the perception that you enter into a contract and how secure it is going down the line. That is that is perhaps the biggest concern right now because perhaps you know the contracts might not change come November the thirtieth. Uh, but the question is, you know, what happens if they enter a new contract and then once again they go go under review? What's your view on the communication with investors right now? Yeah, that has been a major challenge because there are formal communications between the government of Tanzania and the investors. And with this new um, move of the, the new minister to review the contract, there are a number of uh, things we have to look around it because the signals which we, we send to investors that uh, maybe the country is going to review the contract in such a way that uh, the investors are not going to benefit it, or the, 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 the country is going to restrict investments uh, from abroad. So there should be a proper communication, a proper mechanism of how to communicate with the investors. Probably we need to, to, to renegotiate the contract and we cannot force it if the, the, the contracts yeah. are long-term binding. So the, the way the, the, the communication is, it needs to be improved over time so that we don't scare investors. We really I need them, but we need the country to benefit as well. Some of them, they really uh, share the concerns that uh, if the country has to benefit in one way or the other, because uh, the mining sector is the booming sector, but in terms of contribution to poverty reduction in the country, it has been so, so insignificant. Not much contribution from the uh, mining sector. At the moment, it contributes to around only 3%. But it's the, 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 the sector that receives a, a lot of investment, foreign direct investment. Yeah, so yeah. the concern here is the communication uh, kind of uh, that needs to be improved uh, between the investors and the government of Tanzania. Pronius, thank you very much for giving us your views on the situation. We will, of course, uh, be tracking it. Pronius Mbalini, economist at the Economic and Social Research Foundation.